I am Alan Kiradia. I'm associate professor at the Faculty of Architecture at the University of Hong Kong. My research area is urban design. Currently, I'm working on walkability. The project is called Walkable Hong Kong. Hong Kong is one of the world's iconic vertical cities. Seven million people are packed into a very small space. It is a much walked city. The Hong Kong Urban Lab, which is the research arm of the Faculty of Architecture in the University of Hong Kong, brings together researchers from faculties of medicine, architecture, science, engineering, to decode the science of healthy, high-density cities. The Faculty of Architecture and the Department of Urban Planning and Design is working with Civic Exchange and the Hong Kong Council of uh, Social Service on this project called uh, Walking with Wheels. One of the objectives of uh, Walking with Wheels is to create a map of all the pedestrian network, all the walkable network of Hong Kong. And we start with Central because it's the most complicated one and once we're done with this one, we're probably ready for anything that comes to us. We work with Hong Kong U by engaging the wheelchair user in the data connection process to make sure the data about the street condition can meet the needs of the wheelchair user to find out the accessible routing. The project we're doing with Hong Kong U, Council of Social Services and Civic Exchange is very specifically looking for people that walk with wheels, wheelchairs, prams, cargo, waste. If we can take away the barriers and map the routes without barriers, for that specific need, we improve walkability for everybody and it becomes applicable for the whole of Hong Kong. Designing healthy, high-density cities is an incredibly complex task. It couldn't possibly be done without interdisciplinary projects and the walkability study is a very good example of this. Through interdisciplinary research between the Faculty of Medicine and Faculty of Architecture, we're embarking on a new project looking at the impact of the living environment on the experience of ageing. As a specialist geriatrician in Hong Kong, I'm seeing more and more people coming into accident emergency with falls and the consequence of falls. And unfortunately, one in 10 people who fall would have serious injuries, such as fractured hips, head injuries, hemorrhage, etc. And this problem is increasing all the time because the society is ageing rapidly. We are living in a high density city. We've got these high capacity roads and we're forcing people to make detours and elevation changes a lot. And that makes it very uncomfortable for people to get around. There are other obstacles as well, where it's uh, cargo on the streets, shop extensions onto the pavement, and just incredible crowded pavements. This function should demonstrate how, because there is so much congestion in uh, Hong Kong, that you need to give a lot of space to pedestrians to cross. This is a problem that is arising in a lot of cities, Hong Kong, Singapore, New York, Paris, London. I think in Central, there are a lot of old buildings and old streets. The accessibility of old buildings in Hong Kong, as well as the old streets, has a lot of barrier for wheelchair users. The key area we like to see change and develop could be expressed as better continuity between the skywalk, better continuity in the groundwork, and then the relationship between those two sides, the inside, the outside. We are creating a 3D map of Central with all the walkways, the skyway and the underground, which will enable anyone to create different applications that may cater for people that are walking in Central. This project is called Walk DVRC, and it stands for Devo Road in Central. We're imagining Devo Road as a pedestrianized zone uh, full of greenery, and how would we design buildings differently? I think this is a really great test case for the world because it's a, one of the most dense cities in the world, and yet to question how we can still have green space, how we can still have great public space within a city is a very essential question to answer. Well, Hong Kong is a great example of hyperdensity and we're ahead of many cities in the world. If we can resolve our pedestrian mobility and all these multiple layers in this really complex hyperdense environment, we can become a great example for the rest of the world. Our long-term aim is to produce scientifically credible data that helps public health officials and urban planners design healthy cities for the future. 
The knowledge exchange arising from Hong Kong Urban Lab projects like walkability has led us into discussions with governments in Dhaka, Bangladesh, Finland, Mongolia. It is absolutely vital to ground urban research in these types of engagements. Through this kind of knowledge exchange involving civil society, government, university, we can expect to achieve vast improvements in urban planning and design.